Hello and welcome to Alchemist Swim. I am Alchemist Jen. Thanks for joining me on this fine day, whatever day it is for you. Happy day. Uh, today's whim of the day is to work a little bit more on knitting my shawlet and shawlet, scarflet. I can, apparently I have bigger goals than, um, <laughs> than I thought. This is my scarflet. Still making good progress. Look how much longer it was than yesterday. And um, I even did a tutorial. I did a tutorial. So I will be posting it on YouTube as well. So my first tutorial, I did this little awesome opening there for it. Showed how I do the awesome stitches there. So I did a thing. I just wanted to share. It's exciting. And um, then I also want to talk a little bit about... Um, yarn labels and how I'm just going to be reworking some designing. So uh, for that I have my yarn labels are kind of opened up and so I'm looking at how to redesign them so they're not as hard to interact with. So I am A going to be changing the paper um, so instead of doing this colorful goodness I'm going to go with more of a um, parchmenty kind of look. Um, my thoughts behind that are I can, it doesn't matter which thing it's with, no matter what color it is, I can have that versatility and that consistency. And then um, B, I can also add color to it pretty easily. So if I wanted to add a colorful sticker that has the yarn information, I can. If I wanted to put, uh, you know, a hand stamped awesomeness on there, I can like if I want to do my logo that way. So I'm still playing around with how I want to design it, but I'm working in that direction. I got a paper, I got a bunch of paper. So <laughs> I'm gonna play with that a little bit in my next rendition of um, tags that are going on the yarn that I'm doing right now. So for that, at least I think I'm gonna start making it a portion of what this is. I'm looking at how readable, readable it is, but I also still really like that when I put it on a skein, the skein's the the main thing, and you don't see the. It's not, it's, I'm just drawn between, you know, making a band, um, or, you know, doing. Let's see, I've got a skein of something here. Um, so being able to do more of a band style versus a tag style. So which is I what I've done. So it's less. It's more about the skein and less about the other information so I'm trying to decide how I want to do that so um, which is visually more um, prevalent so I mean I could easily do bands too so just thinking through how I want to do it so I might play with that um, I'll show you some options that I've come up with um, hopefully tomorrow I'll be doing some if I don't do it for the video I'll do it after because I've got to um, work on getting some uh, yarn and some bandanas labeled so yay so that's that's kind of what I'm working on there um, just taking uh, feedback and then making adjustments seeing people interact with um, tag says maybe I should look at something else and uh, that's totally cool flexing and making a, a different uh, plan so uh, I'm working on this scarflet why I want to call it a shawlet tonight is beyond me but maybe that's what I need to work on next. Something cute and flowy that's a shawl-like thing. Why not? Why not? I kind of already have one in play and maybe I should use it as momentum to actually finish that pattern. So I've got yarn from two other dyers that I've had for a year now. And then I had intentions of doing a shawl. You know, maybe that's, maybe that's exactly what it is. So uh, it's not going to be like a shawl lit though, I think it's going to be a bigger one, but it just alternates between two simple stitches and um, and uh, kind of a, a grid, like a checkerboard. So it's not complicated, it's easy to get into, it's easy to follow, and then it, with the checkerboard you just basically alternate which stitch you're going to do and then it kind of stacks like a checkerboard so that the textures are really where um, the focus is and then it also sings out the um in the colors of the the yarn a little bit more so the uh, you know that may be my motivation to actually finish that project and i think it'll be a good 
shawl pattern for any type of yarn as well. So I've chosen for this one, I'm using fingering weight that I'm working on for this other one, uh, just I wanted something that I could use in the um, uh, kind of the warmer months to sometimes you just want something still to wrap around yourself. So that was my thought process there. I started it and got some way through it, but you know, this is time to pick it back up, taking it as my sign. And then I can publish a pattern. How about that? Pretty snazzy, magical. All right, so with this, um, as we're looking at a scarflet, you know, wear through. So um, that's part of why I wanted to do the tutorial because I didn't want to, I wanted to have room to do that. So something like that, cuteness. And and almost to the part where it can be wrapped around the head. So I guess another section there, which would be really adorable. So, and that actually feels very comfy. So I'm excited. And so probably at least another section. And that's just kind of a cute little thing. I, I'm not even sure what it looks like because I'm not seeing me. If you're seeing me, you know, watch it in the recap. But having um, another section of it gives a little bit more um, depth. I, I know a lot, everyone's got different um, things that they like around their neck. I'm not a person that likes things on my neck. <laughs> so um, so I would I would have more distance. So, But if, if you're one that likes something tight and is good with it, then this would probably be the right distance to go. Um, so again, this is totally modifiable. It can be done down to how many rows you actually have between the different things. If you want to go for a certain, you know, feel, if you want to adjust it, it you know, I like having a modifiable and incur and pattern and then encouraging people to do so because it, you know, gives it a ownership and then B, it also, you know, it makes it a unique item. No one else is going to have the same thing, you know, between... Um, what yarn you chose, how you knit in general, I mean, and then saying, hey, nope, I've gone and modified it. So I encourage it highly to modify patterns and to play and to make it your own. I think that's a very, very fun and healthy thing to do. I also realized that um, some people also just really like to follow patterns and um, find, um, you know, grounding and comfort in that too. So Whatever is your thing, do your thing. I encourage it. If it's not knitting, then you can do that too. <laughs> oh man, it's just, you know, it, it can be anything. So as I'm working on this, I'm thinking that this is going to go hang out at, um, at Rabbit Row Yarns and Haberdashery and Corning with some more yarn that's like this, um, especially since I'll have the trunk show there um, and the yarn for the yarn crawl and the pop up, I guess, whatever we're calling it, is going to be in uh, uh, on April 29th. So that will be cool. I figured having something match sounds logical and sensical. And then I will just have to make another one. So maybe I will hold off on working on the shawl part afterwards so I can finish another one of these and then I'm getting more yarn tomorrow so I'll be dyeing that up and then I can work out another one so that way I've got um one that I can show off and wear as I'm out and about too so we'll see and maybe I'll have to do another one for um other places that I have my yarn at if they like the pattern so how exciting is that so the other thing I'm just I'm working on a bunch of different things right now, which is good as I'm working through changing modes into um, summer and um, events and things like that, having a little bit more focus and drive. Um, I'm looking at, um, I totally lost my train of thought. I guess I'm a little tired, but um, what am I looking at? <laughs> I totally lost it. Oh, that's amazing. I guess, uh, you know, I'm, I'm starting to work through um, just relaxing for the evening and it is catching up with me and I'm okay with it, running with it. 
I've had a very busy day. Um, but uh, just looking at what I need to do, I think, for when and how I want to um, in show up for the different events. I mean, every event is a little different. I'll uh, tweak my display in some different ways. Uh, running into the point of having outdoor shows and so being set up for those and any eventuality that comes with that um, you know it's it's exciting and um, I'm very much a planner so also having something to plan for I think helps my um, my focus I think a little bit having deadlines and having things that are coming up um, help me out a little bit so <laughs> that's how my brain works I guess so I just wanted to share, just as I'm going into, you know, switching modes a little bit, um, being more focused and having having deadlines that I'm working towards. Um, and then I think I'll, I'll end up with a little bit more focused variety in what I'm, I'm doing. So, so this week is very heavy dye, uh, dyeing week. So I've got a lot of yarn to dye. So getting um, 40 skeins tomorrow, I have six that I have prepared here that need to um, do the stripes and so that will have a different type of dyeing than doing pan dyeing. So um, I'm thinking that I'll be able to split up the um, dyeing each night after I work my other job so I can do a pan, do another pan, you know, do a, a pair of pans, do a pair of pans and then be able to knock it out. Um, so that's kind of my goal. So tonight I'll do the prep for the stuff that I already have. And then tomorrow when I get the new yarn, I'll do the prep for the stuff that I'm gonna do the next night and just kinda keep stacking every night so I'm ready to um, keep adding on yarn. And uh, um, yeah, so I'm hoping to have some nice, um, fresh, bright colors and fun yarns to share with you. So those that's what's going on in my, my stuff. This is uh, what the whims are knitting and dyeing and that's that's what's up and then after I do all this yarn I really need to focus on um, some fabric things so I'm looking at what other um, um, kind of tapestries I want to have around what other blocks I want to carve to get some fresh things going um, so that's another exciting avenue to play with I'm um, looking at paper making and I keep on talking about it but not doing it paper making and um, printmaking to add to those options. So, um, yeah. So those are those are kind of my my current trajectories, and it's exciting to just keep making and to have you join me as I'm going through this uh, journey. So, thanks for joining me today. Uh, we'll see where the whim takes us tomorrow. Again, it's going to be very dye heavy, so I might show things that I'm dying. I might not, depending on which part of the stage it is. And I might just do something else but then talk about what I'm doing dying. So maybe I'll just knit more and then talk about how I died. I don't know. We'll see. Tomorrow's whim. It's for tomorrow. Uh, have a good rest of your day. Great seeing you here today. Toodaloo.